Russia could be behind a cyber attack on Global Affairs Canada. It was noticed January 19th. That happened to be the same day that the Canadian Center for Cybersecurity warned of Russian state-sponsored cyber threat activity. Some access to Internet and Internet-based services are currently unavailable. The work is being done to restore them. Claudia Popa joins us now, certified security and privacy expert, joins us to talk about what could have happened here. Thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me on the show, Morella. Not a lot of information being released. It's called a cyber incident. From your reading into this, what is likelier? How would this have been carried out? Well, what we've seen so far is that there's um, a coincidental timing to this. Uh, the the um, Wherever it's been covered in the news, it's been presented as a bit of a coincidence. We certainly need to keep in mind the fact that there's a big difference between correlation and, and causation. Uh, but it is important to realize that um, the, the odd thing is not that uh, you know, Canadian government or its agencies are being attacked, but that those attacks and those incidents are being detected. So it's important to realize that if those, um, uh, if those incidents are being detected at all, it's because somebody wants them to be detected. It's, um, it's an interesting psychological game, uh, to be sure. Meaning that if they didn't want it to be detected, they could attack and you wouldn't know it. That's right. In most cases, attackers nowadays choose the day on which they, they bust out. They, they choose the time uh, when they make themselves visible, they choose how they will present themselves. And uh, by and large, if this is indeed related to the current political situation, then it's a bit of a psychological game to say, hey, you know what, we're inside your systems and we are uh, potentially breeding your mail. However, uh, there's no current indication that that's the case. And certainly the message from the government has been that there's no reason to think so um, other than the obvious coincidence. Okay, what is likely as far as this kind of attack? Meaning how does it happen? Is it just because there's a security system that is vulnerable in some way? Does it involve getting into an employee's email and then they open something up that then infects the system? Do we have any idea even how this gets carried out? That's an excellent question. And it's always about the low hanging fruit. So cyber attacks in general are always about the attack surface. And the attack surface is basically what's presented to the public, what is available. And you've got two things that are always available, the web and email. So whether this took place by uh, compromising a website that was public facing, uh, that would be one attack vector, as we say, and the other would be through email. And generally speaking, if you've got a public government department, you've pretty much got access to a list of individuals who work there. So it's fairly easy to target them with phishing messages, with malicious links, perhaps with weaponized attachments that could compromise their computer and uh, compromise their access as well. From what we know, not, nothing has been stolen, at least from what we know so far. Simply access to some online platforms have not been uh, able, they've not been able to access certain online platforms. That's right. And, and so this is part of the two things that are very difficult in cybersecurity and, and defense in particular. One, uh, attribution is very difficult. You never exactly know who it is that's attacking you, right? It's very easy to to make it look like it's somebody else. It's very easy to cover your tracks, etc. And on the other hand, it's always difficult to tell what has been taken because unlike physical assets where you notice that they're missing, in the digital world, if someone makes a copy of your files, you may not know about it. So that's a difficult thing to, to determine. And that's why I think we were told that investigations are ongoing and hopefully they'll be able to tell in the hours and days to come. Claudia Popa, appreciate you stopping in, sir. Thanks for your time today. Thank you.